The 2024 edition of the Olivier Award, an annual award that recognizes excellence in professional theater in London, was live at the Royal Albert Hall in London. And at this point, we expected our super talented theater thespians to show up in their most grand day fashions. And while some served us show stopping looks, others just left a little more to be desired. So here are the top 10 best and worst dress at the 2024 Olivia Awards. Take a look. First up on our best dress list and starting out strong, we have the stunning Hannah Waddingham and for the 2024 Olivia Award, she had on this lilac bedrewed mesh long dress and tonight she was styled by the super talented James Yardley and I think she totally looks beautiful in this look tonight. Now honestly, Hannah barely misses when it comes to the red carpet and one thing about her is that she's gonna serve you proper glamour and fit and I think tonight she's really showing us once again how you slay a red carpet and i'm really here for it now i really love this single sleeve moment that we see on the dress i think that in itself was just the right combination of just you know covering up but still kind of showcasing her amazing collarbone i also really love the way this dress fits her to a t you can kind of like see the ruching at her waist area that just kind of like snatches her up and sculpts her frame ultimately and i think hannah just gets it when it comes to the fitting of a dress and i love that for her now the stoning of the dress in itself was done in such a consistent manner and i really love that when we get down to the train they sort of like a tool addition that kind of adds volume and just anchors the dress down to kind of like fit properly and i think that was a cute construction detail overall i'm really getting into this messy type updo that she has going on and most importantly i really do love those shoes so yeah hannah tonight definitely did a thing and this look was definitely a hot for me up next we have the super talented Sierra Snook and for the 2024 Olivier Award she had on this black velvet long dress by Erdem that kind of like takes inspiration from this look from their spring summer 2024 collection and tonight she was styled by the super talented Nikki Yates and I think she was serving us pure glamour in this look tonight I mean they say you can never go wrong in a black look but sometimes it can just be very uninteresting and boring and that's why I'm really not a super fan of like black dresses with no character but this black look that Sarah served us tonight is definitely a standout black dress for me and I love it first of all just that black velvet material up against her skin tone just looks so rich and so expensive and I just love how the tailoring of this overall look is done in such a manner that it just fits her like it's supposed to and she looks so snatched in this look I also really love the knotted details that kind of like form the strapless parts of the dress i feel like that in itself just added a lot of character to this look and i really loved it i love the hair i love the makeup and i think you know this supernatural look just played and just fitted the carpet so easily so yeah this look by sarah snook is definitely a hot for me up next we have the strikingly gorgeous Sophie Okinado and for the 2024 Olivier Award she had on this vibrant red stripy long dress with yellow and purple stripes by Bottega Veneta from their spring summer 2024 collection and honestly she looks so breathtaking in this look tonight. Now this isn't a type of fashion that I would typically encourage on the red carpet of award shows only because it just takes a certain level of confidence and je ne sais quoi to kind of like pull it off else it can look really crazy if it's not done well but that wasn't the case tonight with Sophie because she is carrying this look with an utmost conviction and she's selling this look to me and guess what I'm really buying every second of it for sure this look in itself is not a safe look and that is what immediately just catches my attention about this look I mean this look is giving art it's giving grunge but at the same time it still has that element of like glam and like fat that really comes through in the entirety of the dress and I think just the juxtaposition of those elements just takes this look to a new level for me now I love that she really styled this dress with those leather gloves I feel like it just really elevated the entire look more so this all back braided hairstyle that is slowly becoming her thing looks so beautiful on her and just really brought this entire look together so yeah this look by Sophie Okenodo the one needed to be done and it's a heart for me 
Up next, we have the Ebony Goddess Beverly Knight. And for the 2024 Olivier Award, she had on this strapless red long dress with an over jacket. And tonight, she was starred by the awesome Carl Willett. And you can just tell that she stole all the attention in this red look tonight. I mean, red is such a power color. And I feel like this just complemented her skin tone very well. And I absolutely just fell in love with it. I also really love this strapless neckline moment that we see on the dress tonight you can just tell that a common thread tonight are dresses with strapless neckline and you know what if you have a beautiful collarbone structure i mean why not show it off i mean i really love the construction of this dress overall i think that the length just hits the ground just right i also really love the back piece addition that we see that was giving me all the elements of the drama that i need but at the same time it still feels very elegant to me and that for me was just right for styling and hair she has gone with those silver pieces and that braided ponytail moment and i'm just really into all of it tonight beverly definitely read us for fields and we would have it no other way so yeah this look from beverly is definitely a hot for me Finally, on our best dress list, we have the beautiful Nicole Schazinga. And for the 2024 Olivia Award, she had on the satin black long dress and she was styled tonight by the beautiful Emily Evans. And baby, this was giving me very risque. This was giving me very side boob realness, but it still was very tastefully done and I really loved it. First of all, let's talk about the fit of this dress on her. It definitely looks like it was molded onto her body and that in itself just tells tells you how perfectly it fits her and i just love that even though she was going for that very understated glamour she definitely doesn't get lost in the crowd because she looked really glamorous tonight in this look i mean that thigh high slit was definitely slitting and just the way she has styled this look tonight with those diamond jewelries and black pumps just added a wow factor to this look so yeah i really did enjoy this look by nicole and it's definitely a heart for me First up on our watch dress list, we have the eccentric Cara Delevingne. And for the 2024 Olivia Award, she had on this blue and red sequin long dress by Gucci. And I love Cara, but this look was not it for me tonight. Now, first of all, just the construction of the entire look is just a bit confusing to me. And don't get me wrong, I'm a sucker for a good sequin dress. However, just the way that the top half of the dress is constructed in that almost rectangular shape and just how it fits is just throwing me off for sure now the string that just you know runs across the borders area doesn't really help to elevate the look and it's just looking awkward to me now let's not even get into the bottom half of that dress because i mean it just looks really clunky and heavy and not in a good way now the color combo in itself i'm really just not a fan of her face look good though but yeah this look by cara didn't just do it for me tonight so it's a chop for me up next we have the fierce diva mother michelle visage and for the 2024 olivia award she had on this silver and black short dress by david comma and i have never in my life seen a look that i was like wow this is really ugly but guess what tonight i have broken that record because i have definitely seen one and it is very atrocious in my eyes i mean what was this look and why did she think that this was going to be slay on the red carpet tonight for god God's sake i mean for someone who judges the fashion on drag race i just kind of expected more from her i just expected that she was gonna eat the girls up on the red carpet and instead but just bamboozled with this diabolical look i'm just really in disbelief I've, I, I, I don't know i mean that rubber halter neck moment that just really goes into that silver arrangement then down into that drapes moment just looks really cheap almost like a dance rental costume and that in itself is just a no-no for me then her styling with those thigh high boots i'm just like we're, we're definitely done here so yeah this look is definitely a chop for me 
Up next, we have the incredible Dennis Gu, and for the 2024 Olivia Award, she had on this pale golden midi dress and someone definitely needs to come get her an iron because the creases on this look was just far too much for me to wrap my head around. I mean, it's bad enough that the dress in itself already looks so hideous, but for her to have the confidence to come out in this unsteamed ugly dress is the audacity that I need to go about my daily life. I I mean what is this what are we looking at i mean just the dress in itself just looks really matronly and it definitely looks like she was coming from the grocery store and just put on some heels and was like i'm going for the olivia award that's what it looks like i mean her purse definitely looks like something i will leave some loose change in and those shoes doesn't really make sense with the overall look so yeah this look just didn't quite do it for me and it's a chop for me up next we have the gorgeous marisha wallace and for the 2024 Olivia Award, she had on this gold sequin two-piece look by Alex Perry and tonight she was starred by the incredible Thomas George and it looked like this look just had a lot going on and not in a good way. I mean just the fabric in itself was giving me very cheap. It looked just tacky and too inexpensive for me and that in itself just took me out of the fantasy. I mean there was just not one element of sophistication to this look and it definitely looked like she was like yeah it's gold and it's shiny let's just put that on the red carpet and that is not always a good idea to do i mean there's really no point of interest in this look and when it just hits your eyes it does so in a very cringy way also that hair is just a letdown for me so yeah this look was just a bit disturbing to me and it's a chop for me last on our watch dress list today we have the stunning sheridan smith and for the 2024 olivia award she had on this black mesh bejeweled long dress and i'm just super bored i mean where is the innovation where is the glamour where is the fashion i mean all these are definitely the questions that comes to mind when i see this look because i mean it just looks so random and at this point this mesh type look is such a uniform for people who will don't know what to wear for the red carpet and it's just a bit meh to me i mean that black brass set and the panties just really cheapened the look and that silver multi type bag just seemed a bit gimmicky so yeah this one was definitely a chop for me all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i shared with you guys my top 10 best and worst dress at the 2024 olivia award if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely see you guys in the next one but for now it is bye guys au revoir